Today I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 15 5000 series laptop and the exact model for this one is a 5502 or also known as a 5509. The regulatory model for this one is a P102F. Those information can be found on the bottom sticker on bottom of the laptop. But in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and replace or remove the battery for yours. This applies for any Inspiron 15 5000 series, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. And if yours is not holding up any more charge or the probably it's just inflated or you just want to change the battery before selling, this video is for you. By replacing the battery, you're not going to do any modification or configuration requires or anything like that. All you need to do is to power off the laptop and you need a screwdriver set and a few tools. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. And I'll recommend you guys to grab one tool, which is the iFixit screwdriver set. You can get the Pro set, which they'll include you with an opening tool, tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, just like me, go get a simple set. I'll leave the link in the video description. These are made out of S2 class steel uh, metal, which are really good and durable. You're going to use a Phillips number zero. And for the opening tool, you can grab yourself a guitar pick. And uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So grab this one. With this two on hand, we're going to get it started. All right, on the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're not going to remove all of them. Ex uh, we're going to remove most of them except the screws on the corner in here. By the hinges, these this screws, we're not going to remove them because they will not come out entirely. They have a little C-lock on the other side of the screw. And the C-lock serves that purpose right in there and I'm going to explain it and demonstrate what's the use of the C-lock in here. So we're going to remove the screw in the mid back, the sides and the front row screws right in here. All the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them. Go ahead and remove and leave them in one pile. Also if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos useful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. Alright, once we remove all the screws, now we are left with the screws on the corner each side. Now I'm going to demonstrate how this works. As soon as I start twisting this screw, you're going to see a bottom cover separating automatically from the palm rest. And that's what the C-Lock does, it just holds to the cover and pulls it towards the other side. So I'm going to twist and you focus on the cover and you're going to see the cover just popped open right there. And I'm going to stop you know, twisting as soon as I hear one or two click. Same thing on the other side. You're going to twist and you're going to focus right in here. There we go. Once you have those openings, now it simply is questioned up by putting this opening tool right underneath and just twisting it backwards until you see an opening. You want to work yourself all the way across to the side, to the front end, and twist, twist, do the front side all the way all around, and then you want to hear a few clicks, those are normal, and then simply what you want to do, grab the bottom cover, bring it up. And right away here, you can see the C locks, which are right over there, attached to the bottom of the screw, which is right there. All right, down here we can see the battery right in front of you. They have an indication for the screws right there, M2, M2. And the model for this battery, if you want to order it from Dell directly, it's a CN-D7TBCD. That's the model. But if you want to buy it, the model would be H5CKD. That's the model for here, which is an H5CKD. These are 15 volt battery, 53 watt hour batteries. Now, to remove the battery, first we're going to disconnect it by putting you know, two fingers, fingernails on the side of the jack right in here, the white jack, and you want to pull it backward. You want to bring it back. Now, you want to rip it apart and untangle the cables and remove this gaffer's tape. We don't need this gaffer tape in here, so we can remove this, put it to one side, untangle it, bring it, and then you want to pull it towards the ceiling, upward, this side. 
So you need this cable, they don't sell you the cable when you get a new battery. Now to remove the battery, you remove one, two, three, four, five screws attached on the corners. These are a Phillips number one. The screws again, they are the same, they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching those. All right, now we can simply pick up the battery and lift it up. So there's your battery right there. There's a nice crack right there to go for the uh, jack. So what you want to do, once you get the new battery, you want to first plug in this connector right on top, put it, align it straight, there's a uh, line there, and then you just want to squeeze it nicely in place. Make sure you hit that tiny clicks. Then run the cable across the battery, and then before I put it down, I'm just going to put it in an offset position so I get a nice space here to connect the jack in here. So I'm going to align the jack and I'm going to push it right toward the connector, right there. And then I'm going to put the battery, align the screw holes right there, and then put the five screws that you remove over on each corner and the mid. There we go. So now that we have it installed, it is very important how you're gonna use the first uh, charge. It is very important. I'm gonna explain in a bit. So what you wanna do, you put the cover on and you wanna squeeze the corners down, except the back corners in here. You don't wanna squeeze those in. You squeeze the front end really nicely tight. Make sure you hit those nice clicks on the side and go ahead and put the screws at the, on the C-locks so it will pull the cover back to itself. So put the screws and it will push down the corner then. Once you screw it down all the way in, you can help it out by pushing the cover back in and put the rest of the screws on the bottom cover. Again, and once you put the battery in, you do not want to power on at all. You want to plug in the charger and leave it charging for at least four to five or six hours. Doesn't matter as long as it's over four hours. Once it's charged, you left it charging for four to five hours, you want to power it on without the charger connecting. And you want to drain the battery slowly. Don't put any heavy load or anything like that. Slowly drain it down. And once it's drained down, you want to power off the laptop. Again, you want to plug in the charger and you want to leave it there charging for at least for four to five or six hours on an off mode. And then after that, you can power it on as you wish with the charger plugged in or without the charger plugged in, and you can use it the way you want. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to uh, answer them as soon as I can. And it turned on already, so I'm just going to click continue time of time and date is not set so just click continue and that's it for today's video